The next time that your Windows 11 computer updates and restarts, you might find yourself in the world of Microsoft AI. That is because on the 26th of September, Microsoft are releasing a Windows 11 update, which includes Copilot for Windows. And that is what today's video is all about. Now, let's first address something. Copilot for Windows shouldn't be confused with Copilot for Microsoft 365. Copilot for Windows is going to be free. But Copilot for Microsoft 365, which is released in November, definitely isn't free. Now, rather confusingly, as Microsoft always seems to do, the umbrella term for these products seems to be called Microsoft Copilot. But then you get Copilot for Windows, Copilot for Microsoft 365, you get the idea. Now, let's start with Copilot for Windows. This is going to be a free update for Windows 11 users, which is released on the 26th of September. That update is called 22H2, and the update includes a whopping 150 updates to your Windows 11 PC. So let's go through a few of those enhancements that you're going to get as part of that update. Well, firstly, you've got the Copilot for Windows. This will be available in your taskbar. Now, you can call upon Copilot for Windows whenever you need it. So, you might want Copilot for Windows to suggest you a Spotify song. You might want it to change some of your Windows settings or summarize a web page. Copilot for Windows is always going to be there to help you when you need it. But there's so many more features as well. Take, for example, the Photos app. That's also going to be integrated with AI and it's going to make it much easier to edit photos. You've got new features like background blur. Plus, you can search all the photos in your OneDrive just by typing in a description. Photo of me in France wearing a dressing gown that's too small. Oh, it works. And if you're a lover of Microsoft Paint, and let's face it, who isn't? Well, that is getting an AI upgrade as well. You've got things like background removal, you've got layers, and you've got the introduction of something called Co-Creator, which can create realistic images based on text, descriptions, wowzers. And hands up, who uses Notepad? I know I do. Well, Notepad is also getting a little bit of an upgrade as well. You're gonna have tabs, and you're gonna have autosave. How handy is that? You will never lose one of your wife's shopping lists ever again. It seems like Notepad is standing on the toes of OneNote. Perhaps you're into creating videos or editing videos. In that case, have you ever heard of an application called ClipChamp? No, neither had I. But Microsoft purchased ClipChamp and ClipChamp is included free with Windows 11. But ClipChamp is also getting an upgrade and it's getting AI integration. It will be able to auto compose and suggest scenes for your videos. Handy. Now, there wouldn't be a Windows update without additional security. And there's a new security tool called Passkeys. Now, Passkeys has been created to help with our password problem. Instead of you remembering unique passwords for different websites and different applications, you can create different pass keys for all these websites that support it. It saves you a job remembering and it's more secure. And there's just one more feature that I want to talk about with this new update. Do you know when you buy a new iPhone or an iPad or a MacBook or any Apple product and you're transferring all the data and all the applications from your old device to your new device. It just works, doesn't it? You don't get the same with Windows, or do you? With this update, Windows 11 backup is gonna get even better. So when you buy a new device, hopefully the transfer of applications and data is gonna be a lot easier. Maybe not as good as Apple's though. So there is just a small summary of the 150 updates that are going to get installed on your Windows 11 computer the next time it updates. 
Now, I just want to take a few moments to talk about the other Copilot product that we discussed earlier, and that is Copilot from Microsoft 365. Now, Copilot from Microsoft 365 will be released in November this year, and it's caused a bit of a stir in the IT industry. Why? Because it's really expensive. Now, to buy a license for Copilot for Microsoft 365, it's going to set you back about $30 per user per month. Now, if you compare this, for example, to Microsoft 365 Business Premium, where you get your email, your SharePoint, your Teams, and all your security, that costs $22 per user per month. So Microsoft are wanting you to spend an extra $30 per user per month just on AI products. Now the argument obviously from Microsoft is that Copilot for Microsoft 365 is going to save you so much time. Therefore, it's worth the price. Now I filmed a video on my YouTube channel all about Copilot for 365 but it integrates with your Microsoft 365 apps. It can write emails for you, if you like. It can create full proposals in Microsoft Word. It can look at data in Microsoft Excel. It can create presentations in Microsoft PowerPoint. It really can do so much. Now, I'll be creating more videos on Copilot for 365 in November when it's released. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you again soon.